Ooh. What's good, man? I want to talk to y'all real quick. Hey, matter of fact, now fuck that. Story time. You feel me? My first story time. It just came to my mind like, shit, like a couple of hours ago. I said, I'm going to do a story time. Fuck it. I was talking to my dog last night. And he was talking about a scenario that happened years ago. And I woke up today and I was like, hmm, I do need to post some. I, I, I need to give YouTube some love, man. So I say, hmm, what can I talk about? Before I get into that, I apologize for, you know, for, you feel me, the roughness, you feel me. I know y'all ain't used to that, you feel me. Still look good, always gonna look good. But, you feel me, hmm, this, this, this ain't it. You feel me, next time you see me, it will, it will be, it will be appropriate. I promise you. But yeah, story time. <laughs> I was talking to my dog last night about some shit that happened years ago with some females. And I said, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna tell y'all about this shit, cause this shit funny as hell to me. And you feel me? I just wanna give y'all some give y'all some love. Like I said, give you two some love. So, I'ma just get into it. Here's the genesis of everything. So, I DM this girl on IG like early, let's say like 2018, I DM'd her, right? But she had a boyfriend at the time. But I kept DMing her, kept talking to her, kept texting her because I'm like, okay, yeah, you say you got a boyfriend, but you still texting me back. You still giving me energy. You ain't texting back like heavy. You ain't flirting with me like that, but I'm flirting with you and shit like that. You ain't saying, oh, get out my DM. I got a boyfriend. Like I said, you ain't saying none of that. You just said you got a boyfriend one time and you kept you giving me conversation. You ain't just brushing me to the side. You giving me conversation. So I said, hmm, I'm going to give it some time and we're going to see how it goes. So I did that. Maybe like five months went by something like that. DM her again. I know she's going to answer Boyfriend or not, because she answered last time she had a boyfriend. I said, okay, so time went by. Let me DM her. So, DM her. Sing. Blah, blah, blah. You know what happened next. Damn near the same day. You feel me? It was what it was. So, boom. Okay, cool. Now, I remind you now. This is, a, this is a long time coming. I started on this girl, let's say, let's say like January 2018. This is like maybe December 2018. So it's a long time. I'm, impa I'm impatient. So, we finally make it happen, right? Cool. Alright. We chilling, talking, whatever, whatever. Going, you know, regular stuff. So we say this. We like, okay, we finna try to link up. We finna try to go to the movies or whatever. I said, alright, bet. Let's do that. She say, oh, she gonna go to her homegirls, whatever. She asked me if I got any homeboys her homegirls can go with. I said, okay, I got one person I know that's going to that's gonna show up and that's going to come. Everybody else I can't really rely on, but they got something already. So, I hit my dog up, show a picture of the girl. Well, he was supposed to get with this one girl, this different girl at first, this dark-skinned girl. But this light-skinned girl came into the picture. I guess it was all in the group chat or some shit. This light-skinned girl came into the picture, and she took over. She said she didn't want to, she wanted to fuck with my dog. So the lights get girl ended up fucking with my dog. You feel me? So we set it up, we trying to go to the movies and all this shit. We chilling, we vibing. We talking about it, you feel me? And you know me like shit like that. Okay, all right, I'm getting I'm getting anxious. I'm getting excited. I'm ready, I'm ready to go do the thing. I'm ready to go ahead. You feel me? I'm talking about my dog, you feel me? Every day me and my dog, we texting about it, they they texting about us. We text, you feel me, we you feel me. We just chilling, you feel me? I'm telling my dog, okay, yeah, we gonna do this shit. We, I'm, I'm getting hype, I'm ready. Couple days go by, bro. Shit goes still cool. Out of nowhere, bro. This girl texts me and say, oh, I don't think I'm gonna go no more. They piss me off. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, all right, they piss you off. Fuck that, we don't gotta go with them. We, we can still go. And we just ain't gotta talk to them. It, it, it ain't about them, it's about me and you. Me and you, we started this shit. We started this barbecue shit. And it's the motherfucking thanks I get. Like, bro, we started this shit. Fuck them. Fuck what they got going on. You feel me? Why the fuck am I being punished for you being mad at them? You don't want to be with them. Bitch, okay, we go somewhere else then. 
Like, you feel me? That shit pissed me the fuck off. I'm like, bro, we started this shit. How the fuck I met you? If I don't, if I don't meet you and start talking to you, none of this shit is happening. So what the fuck you mean? You feel me? You already telling me, oh, you got strict parents and shit like that. You ain't gonna be able to come out all the time. I ain't gonna see you like that. I already been waiting fucking a whole week and a half for this shit, thinking I'm, I'm ready to go. Literally four days before we about to go. Now you wanna drop this bombshell on me, talking about some goddamn... You ain't going no more. They piss you off about some, some dumbass petty shit. So, me, nah, this is years ago. You feel me? I was a lot more immature. You feel me? This years ago. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Since, and, and here's my thing. Here's a pet, one of my pet peeves. I don't like being anxious for some shit. Like, I know I'm ready to do some shit. People telling me we gonna do something for a good two weeks or more at a time. And I'm ready. I'm getting my mind prepared. Everything. I got my whole thing on how I'm finna go about it and everything. I'm ready. And a couple days before, you sit there and say, oh, it ain't happening no more. I don't like that shit. That shit don't sit, don't sit right with me. You feel me? And now my dog and the girl he met, they still going. But I ain't going no more. How the fuck? Now here's where it gets interesting though. So, <laughs> now mind you now, I never even met this girl in person yet. This is my first, supposed to be my first time meeting this girl in person. You feel me? This is my first time meeting this girl in person. So I'm like, okay, yeah, we, we, we talking and shit like that. But like, bro, I ain't seen you yet. So like, in my mind, that's how I work. I can't really be with you if I ain't seen you yet. I'm not in middle school, elementary school, where we could just get on the phone and I feel like, oh, nah, you, you my girl? Nah, it don't work like that. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't, I mean, we ain't that, we ain't that damn young, bro. You feel me? So like, I ain't even seen you yet. So you really not my girl. How the hell you be my girl if I never even seen you in person yet? That make no sense. That don't even make no sense. But like, yeah. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Since you want to fucking be on this bullshit, you really just piss me the fuck off. I say, all right. I tell my dog. <laughs> he talking to the light-skinned girl. I say, bro, see what's up with the other dark-skinned girl, bro. See if, see, if, see if she trying to go, you feel me? Nah, I'm an asshole for that. Like, I was so, I'm, I'm such an asshole for this. Like, that shit was crazy, bro. But I was pissed off. Like, bro, that, 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 what kind of dumb ass shit is that? Like, that's stupid as hell. But, like, yo. So I said, what's up with the dark skinned girl, bro? You feel me? Me, him, his girl. We set it up. Boom, I'm texting the, the, the other friend now. I just ain't give a fuck. That, that was it. I just ain't give a fuck. I didn't care. I'm like, okay, boom. If this shit go good. Nah, nah. I thought about the, the negative side, the bad side, but I really didn't care. I was like, bro, nah, bro, like, you really just pissed me off. And I was like, you never know. It could just go amazing. You feel me? Like, you never know. Sometimes with stupid shit like that, yes, it was dumb of me to think that it would go good. But you never know. Sometimes you never know. It could go good. That's how I'm thinking about it. And you feel me? I like, like I said, I ain't never seen you before. You not really my girl yet. So I'm not really even too much checking for that shit. You really just piss me the fuck off. And I'm like, real talk, if this is a sign of how the relationship gonna go, you finna be getting your little feelings and act like a little fucking crybaby every time somebody make you mad on some petty shit, that's not gonna sit right with me either. So this, if this is a good sign of how the relationship gonna go and you think you finna dictate how the relationship finna work like that, this, that's already not good. You already killing the vibe for me right there. So... <laughs> we set this shit up, we go ahead, we hit the movies now, right? Boom. Blah blah blah. My dog he with his little thing. I get with a friend. <laughs> now, here's where the, the bullshit start to really hit the fan. We get to the movies. The other dogs get a friend and he fucking with me, bro. You feel me? Because I'm a short sexy nigga. You can't be a short sexy nigga, you feel me? She don't like short sexy niggas. You feel me? So, blah blah blah. We had the movies. We chilling and shit like that. I'm gonna tell you the one, the one, the one interaction me and the girl had. So, I what, what I said? Oh yeah, she takes me and says some disrespectful shit while we was at the movies. So I'm like, okay. I shouldn't even go sit with that bitch. I'm sitting over here. My dog sitting over here, fucking his, his his thing. I'm like, I ain't even finna sit with this bitch. You got me fucked up. You ain't finna say no shit like that. You ain't fuck that hoe. So, 
I said, you know what, fuck that shit, man. I'm already here. We finna just see what's poppin', man. I when I hit fuck it, I don't care no more. And that's what I've, I've been hitting fuck it since the beginning of this goddamn motherfucking whole thing. Since the girl said she ain't wanna fucking go to the movies. The first girl, the original girl I was fucking with. Once she said that, I ain't gonna fuck no more. So I said, fuck it, let me see about that girl. But I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is address that disrespectful shit that she said. And this is one of the main points of this story right here. A lot of motherfuckers in this world be pussy as fuck. They talk a lot of shit, but they pussy as hell. As soon as shit get real, they get pussy as fuck. They show their true co motherfucking colors. So I get, I sit next to her. I look right at her, and I say, "Now go ahead, and say that, say that disrespectful shit to my face." She gonna start laughing, smiling, and giggling. <laughs> what you talking about? You ain't know what the fuck I'm talking about. The fuck is wrong with you? And laughing and laughing and shit like you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Scary ass nigga. It'd be scary as hell out here, man. So yeah, man, you figure I sit there watch the movie, man. I'm like, okay, this shit been dead. So I just watch the fucking bullshit ass movie. We leave. I'm like, alright. <laughs> I'm like, alright, it is what it is. Fuck it. Now imagine now, the girl <laughs> that I originally was fucking with, she don't know. What the hell? She don't know none of this. She don't know what the fuck going on. She don't know that I just went to the movies with blah, blah, blah. Only people that know is me, my dog, and his girl. You feel me? So she don't know that shit. So I, I go, I leave. I'm texting the original girl. You feel me? I'm like, all right, bet. We gonna set up some new shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me check this shit. But yeah, I'm like, okay. We gonna set up some new shit. <laughs> so we set up the shit to go bowling, right? Nah, here's where the shit get twisted and I just, I got nowhere, no, I had no way out of it. So, we go to the movie, we go to the bowl, going bowling now. Me, my dog, his girl, light-skinned girl, the girl, the original girl I was fucking with, and then the one I was just at the movies with. They all, that's, that's who the fuck going, bro. Right, so, yeah, we get to the bowling alley, man. And my dumb ass not even too much thinking about the worst case scenario, you feel me? Well, like, in my mind, the worst case scenario is, okay, as soon as I walk in this bitch, they gonna already know, or they gonna figure it out, and then the shit just gonna hit the fan right in front of everybody's face, you feel me? That's the worst case scenario to me, you feel me? And that ain't what the fuck happened. What happened was, we get in that bitch, and... We chilling. Everything going smooth. Everything just vibing. My dog with his thing. They chilling. I'm with my other thing. You feel me? We chilling. And then we got the third motherfucking wheel. You feel me? So we all just vibing, whatever, whatever. Bowling a couple balls, or whatever, whatever. And then I didn't find this out till after. But my dog would say, oh, the girl that I was at the movies with act like she ain't know who the fuck I was until I guess, I don't know, maybe like 30 fucking minutes went by. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you blind or something? Like, bitch, you, you feel me? You seen me before. I, bitch, you, me, I'm good with faces. Everybody ain't good with faces. But, like, bitch, I would've known from the first fucking 10 seconds. You feel me? But everybody different. So, yeah. She ended up figuring out who the fuck I was, right? And I'm so focused on the fact that I'm like, okay, she fucking with me. So, I'm like, okay, I don't know if the bitch is not gonna say nothing. You feel me? Oh, yeah, let me backtrack. I'm sorry for the backtracking. But... In my mind, I'm like this. Worst case scenario. Well, not even worst case scenario. I'm like, nothing too with the girl I went to the movies with. You shouldn't even say nothing because you ain't fuck with me. So if you if you trying to spoil some shit, you just a hateful ass, bitter ass bitch in my mind. That's just me. You ain't fuck with me anyway. So what the fuck me? I, I, I ain't I ain't I ain't throw that shit. You feel me? I ain't I ain't go crazy. You feel me? So what the, what, 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 what we really talking about? I ain't kiss you, none of that. You feel me? I barely flirted with you in text. And I, like, come on, bro. You wasn't fucking with me, so what the fuck is the big deal? You feel me? Like, you just a, you just a bitter ass, hateful ass bitch. In my opinion, if you trying to spoil some shit, that's how I'm going about it. That's how I'm thinking about it. So, here's my day, bro. We chilling, bro. We vibing, bro. Everything going smooth. Then I think they take a little walk. You know how females are, like, they trying to go to the bathroom and shit together and shit like that. They did some shit like that, right? I'm sitting here just chilling, 
but with a dumb ass smile on my face, acting like, oh yeah, well, I'm finna get some, but soon, but ooh, but I'm finna good, all this shit, cause she holding my head, hey, baby, I'm rubbing on the thighs, you know, and you gotta, gotta, gotta rub on the thighs a little bit, but yeah, I'm like, bro, all this shit, I don't vibe it, you feel me, so they come, they take that little walk, they come back, the whole and it's like a black cloud just 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 fucking floated over our fucking heads. The whole energy just fucking changed. And my dumb ass ain't even realizing it all the way yet. Cause I'm like, okay, like I said, in my mind, I'm like, okay, if anything, the shit would have been happy. Like we 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 already like a whole 45 minutes, 50 minutes into the damn whole bowling out of this shit. We done been here a little a, a good little minute already. You feel me? If anything, this shit should have happened in the first 10 minutes. You feel me? That's how, that's how I think about it in my mind. But like I said, I give people a little too much credit. Like, I be thinking that people, and I be forgetting, like I said earlier, people scary. People be pussy. You feel me? People not going to go about shit the way that I would go about shit. You feel me? And I got to, like, plenty of other shit happen that I got to keep reminding myself that, okay, people ain't going to go about it the way everybody ain't like you. You feel me? A lot of people gonna move cowardly as fuck. They gonna move scary. They gonna move in another way. They're not gonna do shit the way that you would do it. That's just the world. I have to tell myself that. But, yeah, so that's what the fuck happened. They take their little walk. They come back. Like I said, black cloud, nigga. Raindrops falling over the fucking table, man. Bro. So, <laughs> I'm chilling like a fucking cloud. Just looking around, just, just just vibing, you feel me? Thinking all good, good positive thoughts. And right in front of me, it's little whispering going on. It's little little talk side side chat going on right in front of me, right in front of my face. But like I ain't really catching it because like, I'm just looking at her. I'm feeling, I'm going off her vibe. You feel me? Now how it's supposed to be? What the? F I don't give a fuck about your friends. What the fuck your friends got to do with me? You feel me? My dog got his thing, okay, I might leave my dog laugh at him real quick, uh -huh. okay, that's it, you feel me, that's it, I ain't worried about what the fuck they got going on, I'm worried about her, and her energy was, wasn't was giving that, you feel me, so that's what, that's all I was focused on, so that threw me the fuck off, but my dog, he picked up on it, he like, hold up, something going on, he like, he heard the little side chats and whatever, whatever, and whatever, I didn't, I wasn't really peeping on everything, because I'm like, bitch, I'm just worried about her, fuck y'all, I don't give a fuck about y'all, you feel me, no disrespect, but fuck y'all, you feel me. Stupid ass camera key going out on me. But yeah, I mean, I'm like this. I'm like this, no disrespect, but fuck what y'all got going on. You feel me? Like, this, what the fuck I'm worried about? This my, this my shit right here. You feel me? My shit, my shit, she ain't fucking with me. So I'm chilling, I'm picturing. So yeah, you feel me? This going on, man. And so my dog, he trying to tell everybody, he trying to just like, okay, let's just hash this shit out. Let's just put it all on the table. He know what the fuck going on. He know what it gotta be. You feel me? So he like, okay, let's just hash this shit out. It is what it is. Put it all on the table. And whatever way it go, it's just gonna go. You feel me? And it wasn't gonna go no bad way. Like, it wasn't even that damn deep. But especially to me, it was only way it's gonna go a bad way is if y'all made it. Y'all did too much. If y'all did too much, it would've went left. You feel me? But if you knew how to talk like fucking, with, like people with common sense, you feel me? It wouldn't have went no way. But if you're going to try to get disrespectful or try to do too much, then I'm going I'm to last shot. You feel me? That's just how I am. But, yeah, my dog's like, let's just, let's just, okay, boom. He see all the little side chatter. He see all the little whispering and all the little, he see the tension done change and everything. You feel me? He felt the black cloud. The black cloud was right over his head. You feel me? He like, hold up, nigga. And then it wasn't even supposed to be on his head, you feel me? But it was on him, you feel me? He feel the raindrops and the motherfucking, the wind and shit. It wasn't even supposed to be for him. So, yeah. He trying to, he telling everybody, he like, all right. I wasn't even really paying attention, you feel me? I'm looking at her ass. I was on my phone or some shit, you feel me? And he trying to say, okay, um, what's going on? What's going on? He telling them what's going on. They telling him, go bold, go bold, go bold, go bold, go bold. Whatever, whatever. Don't worry about this nothing. He like, nah, nah, it's definitely something, bro. Like, nah, let's, you feel me? Put there's a big ass elephant in the room. Let's motherfucking let's 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 get let's let's do it. Let's get rid of this shit. It's whatever. You feel me? So <laughs> they tell us telling him go bold, this and that, this and that. So I look up because I hear the commotion. I don't know what the fuck going on. Even like I said, and her energy not showing. Me, like, and I just wasn't paying attention. You feel me? Like I said, I didn't give a fuck about nothing, nothing, nothing else. I'm looking at her ass. And if I did glance over, wasn't nobody really looking at me. I didn't really catch it. But I was just looking at her ass. You feel me? So, 
my dumb ass still thinking ain't nothing going on. You feel me? So I look up here the commotion and I'm like, what the fuck going on? You feel me? Not thinking like, oh dog, duh, duh, nigga, it gotta be your dumb ass shit. But uh, yeah, I look up and I'm like, this is hunk of whatever, whatever. And I was just like, <laughs> my dumb man, and he keeps telling he, he every time we talk about this shit, he tell me this nigga fucking this nigga tripping. This nigga, how the fuck this nigga gonna take take they side, nigga, when I'm trying to help your ass out, nigga, it's your problem. <laughs> That's what he be telling me and shit. I like nigga, hey nigga, I was throwing the fuck off. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was completely fucking clueless. But uh, yeah, I was like, I, I look up, I say, man, just go bold, bro. I mean, I mean, for me, it's whatever, bro. You feel me? So he go, he like, man, this nigga's a bitch. You feel me? He go bold, whatever. And if I was like, he bold, little whatever. And they come back. Now I didn't peep until it was my turn to bold. This would the shit really went down. And it was about to go left. Cause like I said, if you do too much and you handle this shit the wrong way when it ain't that damn deep, you feel me? Like I said, but you could have just said it straight up, okay, boom, put it all on the table, and I would have looked at her. Fuck what y'all talking about. And if you ain't saying, if you if you tell what the hell happened and that's it, then okay, all right, cool. But if you saying some extra little shit, then it's gonna be a problem. You feel me? So. You would put you could have put all that on the table. Why you why you why you talking to her? Why you sitting here right now? You know you was at the music me the other day. You could just say it. I'd be like, okay. Whatever, whatever. The only extra shit I probably said was, okay, okay, I don't even know why you said something like that to be honest. Because you wouldn't even fucking with me. You feel I get I get I get what the point is. Yeah, you wanna talk to her friend or I was talking to her friend at first, and that is fucked up that I went and tried to talk to that one too. I know what the I know what I know what the the negative is. I know where I'm where I'm the bad guy at. I understand that. I'm not fucking, I'm not fucking retarded. You feel me? I understand why, why I went wrong, why I was a bad guy. But at the end of the day, I just looked at her. Okay, so what's gonna happen? You, you feel me? You, you, you done fuck with me or what? You feel me? Yes, no? Okay, cool. You feel me? Uh, we finna bowl? Oh, y'all finna leave. You feel me? Call it a day. You feel me? Like, real talk. You feel me? We could, it could have been all some friendly shit. You feel me? I wasn't just gonna leave. What the fuck? Fuck that. You feel me? Fuck y'all. What the fuck? We can all just be here, just sitting here, cause he's still here with his girl. So like, they damn finna just leave each other early. You feel me? It could have just went so smooth. You feel me? Y'all just fucking grab, some, grow some goddamn balls and fucking just put the shit on the table. But here's what I realized: that the shit that I did. Here's when the cloud hit my head. I get up in my turn the bowl. I get up the bowl, and I look over. Girl from the movies, she looking at me, mean mugging the shit out of me. So I look around, like, I, I get up, I'm like this, I get up just like this. I, and then I look to the right, I look at the bowling ball, I look back straight, she mean mugging the shit out of me. So I'm like, what the, what the, what the, what the fuck is going on, bro? So I'm looking, pointing, like, in confusion. Because I'm like, bro. Who the fuck is you looking at like you finna do something? Like you finna get up and and, 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 and slap a nigga or something? You ain't finna do shit. I don't know who the fuck you fucking think you mean looking right now. So I'm looking like, hold up. I'm just pointing at it. I ain't even say nothing. I'm, I'm fucking probably just muttering to myself. Then somebody said, why you ain't go bold? I said, nah, nah, hold on. I'm trying to figure out who the fuck she looking at like that. And then she gonna start looking around like she fucking tough. Who you talking to? Oh, he's over here. He's over here. He's... Bitch, look me in my face. You feel me? I'm looking at you. You feel me? I'm looking right at you. What you looking to the side for like a fucking retard? You feel me? I'm looking right at your face. That's how you know you scary, bro. Like, and don't forget when we was at the movies, when I looked in your face and said, say that disrespectful shit to me right when I was sitting next to you. And you said, you said, try to laugh it off because you know you scary as fuck. You feel me? Like, stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Y'all know y'all not like that, bro. You feel me? Not saying, oh, I'm just the toughest nigga or whatever, whatever, but I ain't, you feel me? <laughs> I ain't no scary, ain't no scary that nigga, ain't, nothing, ain't nobody gonna run over me, ain't nobody gonna just sit there in my face and think that shit sweet, you feel me, I ain't scared of nothing, nobody, but the Lord, you feel me, thank you Lord, but yeah, you feel me, like, I'm just like, bitch, you feel me, that's when I knew shit when we left, and after that, bitch, I sat down, and I ain't talk to nobody, I ain't looking at nobody, I'm like, bitch, <laughs> I was sitting there just in my seat, just like this, just, alright man, just so I say something, bitch, I'm ready, you feel me, I'm ready, bitch. You feel me? When I come on, I'm like, bitch, I'm just ready for whatever, man. You feel me? Like, bitch, somebody got something to say, bitch, I'm ready to go. You feel me? I'm ready to go at it. You feel me? <laughs> and that's, and that's, that's how I went, man. 
and they, I think they just end up leaving, whatever. You feel me? Me and my dog, you feel me? They end up leaving, we end up leaving, whatever. And that's, that's how it went, man. You feel me? After that, I guess they felt like, oh, it was finna go, somebody, something was finna happen or something. You feel me? Because at, at, at that point, everybody knew. Even me. You feel me? And once I knew, once everybody knew, and they, they, they see that the, the tension, then everything that hit the fan, they're like, all right, let's just call it. You feel me? But my thing is like, bro, why, why, what's with the shady shit? Like, bro, just, just, like I said, I give people too much credit sometimes. But like, bro, like, we all sitting right here. What's with the scary shit? Just say what the fuck you gotta say. You feel me? If it's that damn serious, say what you gotta say. Don't fucking try to say it behind my back. You feel me? Don't, that's scary as fuck. You feel me? But like I said, there's a lot of scary motherfuckers out here. You feel me? And that's the moral of this motherfucking story. Don't talk shit if you know you're a scary ass motherfucker, bro. You feel me? Like me, I'ma talk shit all the time because I ain't scared. You feel me? Like I said, man, I feel God, man. You feel me? That's it. You feel me? So, yeah. It's just an interesting story time for y'all real quick. You feel me? Yes, I know I am the asshole of the story. You feel me? I am technically, well, yeah, I am the bad guy of the story. You feel me? But, hey, just wanted to give y'all a little entertainment real quick because, you know, that's what I do. I entertain and I look fucking good as fuck. Mm. But, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. 51 subscribers, man. I want to hit 100, man. Like, what y'all want, man? Show me, tell me what y'all want. Y'all want more basketball videos? Y'all want more story times? You want more challenges? You want gaming? You feel me? Pranks? You feel me? Oh, yeah, I need it. I need it. We'll talk about that later. If not, I ain't gonna do too much. I ain't gonna do too much. But, um, yeah, man, be easy, man. It's vain shit.